And something I was saving for the wedding, but uh, since Mitch here is so worried about where everything is going to fit, I'll just do it now. Miss Ellie and my gift to you is a big condominium in Oak Ridge. Plenty of room for two and, well, maybe three. Isn't that great? That's really nice of you, Mr. Ewing, but well, I think maybe Lucy and I ought to start off in my apartment. What the hell horror we ain't have the condo? Well, now, I, I just think that's the most wonderful, generous thing to do. I, I just know they're going to be happy there. I think it's the nicest thing I ever heard. Well, it's only temporary. Lucy, when you get yourself in the family way, old Uncle J.R. is going to buy you the nicest house in Preston Hollow. And then your mother and your sister can live with you and Mitch and be one big happy family, just like here at Southport. Aren't we lucky, Lucy? Got a whole future set for us. Nice job at Ewing Oil, a nice condo, an even nicer house. Now, what could be better than that? Well, now, wait a minute. No, no, you wait a minute. I don't want your job at Ewing Oil. I don't want the Ewing condo, and I don't want the Ewing house. What I want is to be a medical researcher doing it on my own. Now, if marrying Lucy means that I've got to be tied into the Ewing family and all this damned money, then I'm not so sure I want that either. No, Mitch, wait a minute! Lucy. Lucy, not now. Later. Uh, Talk to him later. What the hell did I say? I don't know. Strange boy. I sure as hell need something stronger than this. Let's go. Just fine. I still don't see why you're having such a hard time seeing my side of it. Mitchell, you're really being stupid. I mean, what'd they do that was so terrible? They don't care what I want. They were trying to buy me. Did it occur to you they might have been thinking about Lucy's happiness? You can't blame them for wanting the best for her, just like I would for Afton. And I don't see what you think is so wonderful about this crummy apartment of yours anyway. Afton, I don't think it's wonderful, but I can afford it. Now, all I'm saying is I think that Lucy and I ought to live on what we can afford, not the Ewing's money. Now, we all lived all right on what Daddy could afford. Oh, sure. We did just fine. We did so fine the day after he died, I had to go out and get a job to keep the two of you alive. Now, listen, your pa was a fine man. But he didn't have a chance. Ma. Now, don't you think that he wouldn't have taken the help if he had had the offer? Mitch, it is no disgrace to be poor. But on the other hand, there's no reason to be proud of it either. Now, I'm not saying that I'm proud of it. I just believe that I'm right. Well, maybe for once you ought to think of somebody besides you. Have you thought about what Lucy might want? What might be best for Lucy? Now, I agree. I agree. You, you shouldn't take that job. You should stay in medicine. But Mitch, please, go back. Marry Lucy. If the condo goes along with her, is it really that bad? Lucy? I thought you'd be studying. Keep my mind on it. I didn't think anything could take your mind off of it. Well, it didn't seem quite so important today. Well, it ought to. The way you are about taking jobs, you'd better study real hard. Now, look, Lucy, you're talking about J.I.'s job. I'd starve to death before I took that. Or uh, anything else from the Ewing? Yeah, that's right. Or anything else from the Ewing. As a matter of fact, I can't even stand the name. Well, it's my name, too. <coughs> well, it wouldn't have to be, not if you married me. Well, you'd be related to the Ewings. <laughs> well, you can't have everything. And the condo? All right, the condo. For a while, but no house. And no job. Not until we can afford it. So, will you marry me? Of course. Yeah! <laughs>